Hello everyone, welcome to another Mind Games podcast. Today I have a very special guest with me. She is a senior studying BA in Mathematics and Economics from the New York University. And you may know her as the youngest daughter of Vice President Lenny Robredo, but I know her as my friend Jill. So, hi Jill. Hi Claudia. <laughs> hi to everyone listening. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to guest in your podcast. Thanks for having me. Not a lot of people know, but the first time I actually met Jill was when we shot a vlog for my mom's yeah. YouTube channel. So we had her mom and all her sisters. I mean, there are three sisters yeah. and they were with us at our place for lunch. And it was so nice because we got to know each other a little bit. And today we'll get to know each other even yeah. more. This is our second meeting. Yeah. <laughs> it's our second meeting, but we won't stop talking. Yeah. Really. I'm really excited and I feel very honored because I guess it's nice to get to know someone like you. And also like, yeah, I want to I wanna get to know you more because Aww. I see that we have a lot of similarities. Yeah. And there are a lot of things I could probably learn from you. So yeah. We're around the same age, and she is the youngest in your family. Yeah. So and I have two elder sisters. Okay. I have two older sisters as well, but I'm not the youngest in my family. Very but, rich. you know, there's a <laughs> dynamic that I think is very similar yeah. with the way that you are with your sisters and also the way that I am. I want to ask you what it was like for you growing up, like with your sisters. So I don't know, like, okay, how, how big your age gap mo with Danny and Julia? Danny is 28, I'm 22, mm, okay. and Drew is 24. So okay. I'm 4 and, and then 2. two. So me and my sisters were all six years apart. Wow. So big age gap. Wow. Like not planned. Not planned. It's not planned. So my Ate Aika, the eldest, is 34. Mm-hmm. Trisha's turning 28 in mm-hmm. July, and I'm turning 22. So I think lahat kami para iba ibang generations na talaga. So I remember when I was growing up. Siguro four years old ako when my sister left for college in Manila. Because I grew up in Naga. So I just moved to Manila when I was 13, right after my dad died. So it gets by iba ibang faces of my life, you right. know, nila. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty close. I w- yeah, we're, we're, really close. close. we're really close, I would very say. Close. But siguro mas recent na lang yung lahat kami to Mandana. Yes. Because w- w- when I was four, my eldest sister was 16. Alam mo yung parang mm-hmm. worlds apart. Yes. Kayo. So now na lang yun na uh, when when we moved to Manila, when me and my mom moved to Manila, syempre like lahat kami all in one house again. Alam mo parang mas mas nakita namin yung sarili namin every day. And uh, yun, parang mas naging close na lang talaga kami. And especially after my dad passed, yung shared experience na yun. Alam mo kami kami rin lang yung makakaintindi. Yeah. And with my mom running for VP yes. and now for president, president. parang you experience that you don't understand understand fully kundi kami yes, tatlo. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I feel like it was so natural for us to get along. Yeah. Because in some sense, we live such different lives, but the family dynamic yeah. and my relationship with my sisters is so similar. Yeah. And it's so similar in a sense that we're not as far apart as you guys, but it also took a while and it took growing up for us to be as close as we are. Yeah, I agree. To close that gap. Because uh, it's different when you're 10 and then your sister's like 14. Yeah, a right? different it's worlds. It's too different. But then when you when you reach a point where you're all in your 20s, ganyan, then you start closing that yeah. gap and you're more alike. Yeah. And that's very similar to how I was with my sisters. Another question that I have is, was there any competition amongst the three of you? Parang wala naman kasi all of us, yun nga, are six years apart. So like three pieces in a pod ever since. Oh, parang wala, alam mo parang wala sa amin like one year apart na yeah. l- lagging going for the same things. Yes. Although yun nga, parang minsan following the footsteps ka of your sister, yes. na minsan nakaka-pressure. Kasi in yes. Naga, it's such a small city na everyone knows each other. So we all went to Santa Isabel, it's like an all-girls school in mm-hmm. Naga. So, alam mo yun, parang, you go to class, binay ko ba yung kapatid ni ganito? Yes. And syempre, yung sisters ko, overachievers rin. And e- even my mom and my titas, they all went to the same school. So, para alam mo yun, parang, may, may laging preconceived notion, parang, ah, dapat magaling ka rin sa math, or, ah, yes. yung sister mo nasa student council, bakit ikaw hindi? Alam mo yun, parang ganun. Mm-mm. And all of us, parang, we did swimming also. So, yung sisters ko, nag- nagko-compete in palaro. So, ikaw, parang, kung hindi ka makapasok in that, 
situation. But oh my god, hindi ba kasi ngaling as you know, my sister? You know, when you talk, you really sound like me. Like, <laughs> this is also the relationship I have with my siblings. Yeah. But just different, no? Like, yeah. For example, you like in their academic life. Me, for example, like with my professional life. Yeah. Like they all went ahead of me. They all like were able to garner their own success at a young age. Yeah. And then having to see that. And then, oh, you're the sister of Julia Barreto. Oh, you're the daughter of Marjorie Barreto. Yeah. All those things. But I never saw it. I don't know. For me, I never saw it as competition. Actually, it's just a pressure. Yeah, it's a pressure. Para hindi kada, di ba para ayaw mo naman pag compete sa siblings, yeah. because you all want what's best for so it, them, what's best for it you. It kind of serves like an inspiration. Yeah, it's I motivating, agree. I think. Yeah, and also because our siblings are so supportive, naman. Yeah, it's not like Parang, we, there's a divide or whatever. And means ano yung feeling ko pa para alam mo mas gusto nila mas magsaksid ka pa than them. Exactly. Na parang you learn from their yeah. mistakes. Mm-mm. How about your relationship with your parents? So I'm pretty like really close to know with my parents. Um, so growing up, your dad was more of the chill dad. Okay. Um, and then si mama talaga was super tiger what mom. What do you mean by chill dad? Alam mo para if you want candy, she'll give you candy. Aww. De ba para para very malambing. Mm-hmm. Very malambe. Like think, weaknesses his children. Ah, uh, parang kasi my dad was in government now when I yes. when I was born. Alam mo yun parang ngayon ko lang na realize hindi lahat ng people in government ganon na yes, na like super him. close to the family. Kasi before yung dad ko kunwari yung mom ko mago work. Dadalhin niya kami sa office. Alam mo parang kilala ko na yung mga tao in his office. Um, every lunch uwi siya. Walang traffic sa naga. So every lunch um uwi siya. So growing up, she talaga yung I, in my head, she yung chill parent yes. and she yung malambing. Like, and your mom na, really? My mom was I super a tiger mom. I can't imagine. Um, as in, she yung parang kung ano may test. Mm. Kung masaya yung test mo, oh, parang, checking like if you're studying. Uh, like ah two mistakes. Para oh ano yung malim mo? May oh. naka perfect ba? Wow. Tapos para awala ah, naka perfect pero may nagwan mistake ba? Alam parang g- ganon ganon yung thought process yes. niya before. But I think when my dad passed. Alam mo kailangan kasi she before two roles. She, she assumed two roles so nag-tone down siya by a lot I would say yeah. or baka kasi tumanda na rin kami so I don't know one of those Okay I would say my mom was the opposite Really when we were still with our dad when that was still the family dynamic my mom was the sweeter one Aww. and then when when she was on her own she became like tougher Oh <laughs> so a bit opposite yeah. naman But wow I can't imagine I can't imagine that's so interesting. Chill na siya. Yeah. <laughs> Another topic that I do want to discuss with you is independence. Because the first time that we met, we kind of talked about, you know, like all our different excursions yeah. growing up, like in after high school, like going to college, finding things to do in the summer, and making it happen on our own, yeah. basically, the right? And I just want to kind of touch on, you know, you went. From just Jillian to suddenly Jillian Robredo, daughter of the vice president, was that a factor in your decision to study abroad? Yeah, I think that was one of the really? biggest factors. I would really? say. I mean, of course, gusto ko rin yung my experience mm-hmm. yung college abroad. Um, I think because I was the first batch of K to twelve. So, alam mo para ang daming nagtat kasi parang before with the four years long of high school. Para ang bata mo pa when you graduate, you're like 16. Yes. Para mahirap pa umalis sa family. Mm-hmm. And when I graduated high school, I was going to be 18. Para mas mature ka na, mas alam mo na yung gagawin mo. And a lot of my friends in Pisay, they all took the SAT. So, ako parang alam mo parang sali-sali lang. Mm-hmm. Para sige, I'll take. Yeah. And then I applied and then naswerte. But I think yun nga, parang aside like besides from the fact na Um, maganda yung quality of education mm-hmm. there. Yeah, I think yun yung isa sa reasons kung bakit rin ako nag-aral abroad. Mm-hmm. Kasi while nag-aaral ka and all that, nagpo-put ka ng effort into what you're doing, syempre may ano pa rin na parang, oh, yan yung anak ni yes. ganyan. And para ayoko rin siya maging reason for me to question kung nakuha ko ba talaga yung, yung mga stuff. Your recognition yeah. and... Yeah. Na like oh po masaba ako dahil anak ako ni mama. Alam mo yes. parang minsan people get into your head. Alam mo parang while you think they're not true, sometimes parang you have days that para oh. Yeah, you just want you just want to kind of avoid yeah. it too. Especially yun nga, especially now kung graduating senior ako and then nagrun si mama for president, yes. mas mas magulo lang. So I guess going to college abroad, mas 
confidence booster siya na lahat ng ginagawa ko is like because of me. Yeah. Talk about that experience. Like when you first got there, were you alone? And then, or when was your first few weeks of living alone and doing it on your own completely? Yeah. Ever since I was born, kata ko si mama matulog. Like even until like, like senior <laughs> senior year of high school, and until now that I'm home, actually yeah. I, I sleep next to my mom. Yeah. So the first, pa my freshman year, walang na assign sa akin na roommate. So like even in the room, I was all alone. Yeah. And I remember because I was in the school of engineering my freshman year. Pa it was in Brooklyn. It wasn't in Manhattan. And all of the Pinoys were in Manhattan. So alam niyo every weekend ko lang sila na hikita. Yes. Um, it was really hard. Um, I remember my eldest sister, si Ate Aika, she brought me to New York. And then she left us in Hagul Hall. Really? As in, parang during... To her? Or to her. after she left? As in, parang, alam mo, parang maluluha ka na. In front of her? Yeah, ako in front of her. And then, mas malala pa when she left. Kasi parang the week she was there, kahit naka-move in ako sa dorm, yeah. mag-text ako, Ate, asin ka? Like you're nervous. Oh, and then I go to, as you know, like welcome week of my... Like first week of my college, um, your sister ko nas- nasa in New York, nasa New York pa, and then ita text her at nasen nga, and then I would sleep in her hotel. What was the most scary thing for you? Like what felt the most daunting? Just being alone, or like what is there a particular task that you felt scared to hmm. do on your own? I think kasi kami family. Alam niya na yung kami to hang out in the living room. Yeah. Just like doing our own thing. Siguro more of like the being alone. Just because sanay ako na ang daming background, like white noise at mm-hmm. home. Alam mo, parang when you're alone, parang wala masyadong umiimik. Like hindi naman dahil takot ka with like scary movies, but parang wala ka lang uuwian, I would say. Yeah. Yun yung, I think yun yung pinaka-sad part of living abroad. Were you able to maintain friendships back home? Yeah, I'm super close to my high school friends until now. And your friends in college, are you like did, were you able to adjust and like find friends like pretty quickly, e- easily? I wouldn't say easily. Okay. Um cuz I feel like you humor ko and like the way I am is very Pinoy. Yes. I mean, I'm very We're very, very Pinoy. yeah, very like particular about that. Yes. And shamper a lot of alam mo, US colleges are different, I would say. But mm-hmm. I feel like it's not naman a super movie movie like but para ang hirap lang to plunge in alone mm-hmm. tapos in a super of different course, culture it could be intimidating yeah so i feel like it took me a while to find like different circles okay kasi siguro freshman year because i was also working during my freshman year mm-hmm. so hindi ako masyado naka-explore ng orgs like on my first semester and then i feel like i really found like friends na outside the pinoy community when i joined org siguro like later mm-hmm. in the year Siguro mas naging open na rin kasi but ako like second semester. It's so interesting, right? Filipinos really gravitate towards yeah. each other. Yeah. Wherever you are in the world, it's like, I need a Pinoy. Para pag may narinig kang Pinoy, parang, oh, Pinoy yan. Oh, oh, you're so proud. But yeah. you see someone in a store and you're so proud. Yeah. It's like so exciting. And you can tell na by the way that they talk. Even if they yeah. speak good English, you Para can tell. Para may vibe eh. You can tell Pinoy. <laughs> and how has that experience changed you? How is Jillian now different from Jillian Four years ago. Feel ko yung priorities ko lang parang align lang now. Yeah. Parang before, feel ko nagko-complain ako about the smallest things. Alam mo yun. Pero, when I started doing all of them on my own, like, laba, alam mo yun, like, alam mo yun, laundry, pagkain, mm-hmm. even just like walking to school. Alam mo parang ang dami mong things na tinatake for granted na hindi mo alam take so much of your time yep. if you were to do it alone. So, siguro every time umuwi ako, mas nagiging appreciative lang ako of pag may tumutulo. Like, if si ate cooks me dinner, ako parang, oh, thank God. So, who taught you how to do chores? Like, how did you know what to do? Because, honestly, I didn't know what kind of maintenance keeping a place, you know. It's hard. I didn't know what kind of maintenance, like, that entailed before. Yeah. But apparently, you're supposed to be cleaning all the time. <laughs> and then, you're cooking your meals. Not really. So, I microwave my okay. <laughs> meals. I'm not judging. Quick, ano? <laughs> Sorry, Tita Marge. It's I'll, fine. I'll follow the recipes. Okay, you should next but, time. But, hmm, I think, in fairness naman to like the college community, para alam mo, medyo pay it forward. Oh, nice. So, like when I was a freshman, tinuturoan ako ng ibang sophomores wow, or like even like seniors na, oh, even like with commuting, na parang, oh, ito yung best way to go or... I remember the first time I was paying taxes. Wow. Para ang dami kong tinatanong. Ako para, 
am dami namang tumutulong about that kasi may may older Pinoy friend or like even upperclassmen na not Pinoy na went through it and alam nila how difficult it is to navigate that aspect on your by yourself by yourself i think with like the basic chores you were like laundry i remember my ate aika first first day sabi niya okay girl tuturuan kita mag laundry yeah. so bibili lang din anyway parang like was sa detergent etc um was she also based abroad no Before? she she was just there for maybe two weeks to help me move in but she studied also for masters like a year okay So may may idea na rin siya how it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think nagpa-progress na lang siya. So like the senior year, we moved na ton off campus housing. Mm-hmm. So that's another problem. Oh, how do you sign a lease or parang how do you yeah. know which ones are the good deal? So even then, I think naman parang medyo progressive yung pagka-adulting. So yeah. it's yeah. the necessary steps. Parang you're yeah. just going your journey towards yeah. like your adult. Yeah. But, But then, other than that, so that's regarding your independence, like in college. But then, I also kind of want to touch on like the excursions that you were that you we talked about yourself. <laughs> yeah, in. I want you to kind of also share with everyone how you went about it, like how you told your mom, yeah. like how you just ended up <laughs> going, yeah, all that stuff. I think the advantage of being like one of the youngest mm-hmm. kids is. Feeling ko mas naging chill na sila kasi alam yes. nilang hindi mo... Like, parang before, parang... Parang they went through it na. Oo. Like, super protective nila sa children before. But ngayon, parang, ah, okay. Sige, go. Same. So, I think I remember yung first time ko leaving leaving the house for, like, a while. I went to Spain, I think, the summer before my senior year high school. Maybe for, like, mm. three weeks. So, yun, parang yung mom ko, ah, okay, sige. And then, how did you plan it? How did you find it? Like, were you looking for it? Parang before, feel ko yung family, tinitreat ako na super baby. Mm-mm. Na parang sila parang, sige, mag, alam mo, mag-explore ka. Kasi my sister did the same thing, siguro, when she was younger, but in the UK. Yes. So when we found this in the same group, parang my mom was like, sige, parang kailangan mo, kailangan mo mag-practice naging mag-isa. It changes you, right? Yeah, it changes you. Like, even just three weeks. I mean, it does, parang, it does. Because I was around the same age. I yeah. think I was also, um no, actually, I was a junior So after my junior year of high yeah. school, I went to LA for a music camp. Oh nice! And I also did the same. Essentially, parang I just brought it up to my mom. I told her I wanted to do this, and then because usually when you do things like that, it's also a bit expensive. Of course, you know it took like a lot of consideration and everything. Yeah. But they also wanted me to to have that kind of experience to yeah. grow up, and it really does change you. Yeah, because. It really helps. Even if it's just super short, I was there for a month, it still felt different. Yeah. Like you come home feeling different because you were alone, you were doing things on your own. It's like a phase in your life where you're pretending to be an adult. Yeah. To But prepare you're not. <laughs> you for being an adult. Yeah. But I think after that, alam mo parang dahil nagawa mo na siya once, ngayon parang, ah, mapunta ako sa ganito. It becomes easier to yeah. kind of think of other things to do. Yeah. All of these other excursions. You have the confidence na that you can to, do, it. do it yes <laughs> how did you feel after returning to the philippines what's your relationship now with your family so actually the la- like, so 2020 was the longest time i haven't been home so i was gone for 11 months Alo, and daming wow. nangyari i haven't yes. seen my mom in 11 months basically because my at least my two sisters at the visited me like feb and then november And then Ate Aika also went like May. But not your mom. But not my mom. So sila pa yung nakita ko in between, mm-hmm. which was a good break. So my sister, my, my second sister got COVID kasi. Yes. Um, when we when we got back, me and my other sister, we quarantined in Bicol. So pa the ride back. Alam mo pa yung nasa loob ka lang ng car, you can't leave because you're quarantining. And then I remember, alam mo pa yung ang daming, mm-hmm. ang daming ng posters na nakita ko of my mom. And parang alam mo yung, yung feeling ko, medyo in disbelief pa rin ako na yun yung nangyayari. Kasi while I think super aware ako what was happening from New York, iba pa rin na andito ako. So when she announced I wasn't here, like October. Actually, can you talk about that? Because I thought that story that you told me was so interesting. Honestly, like when you found out, the moment that you found yeah. out and then um, a foreign student asked you if yeah. you're okay. Yeah. Can you... Can you Tell them sige, about sige. it. So, yun nga, parang, ito naman, when she decided to eventually run, parang hindi kami super shock. Alam mo, parang ang daming updates leading up to her running na, okay, like, you have to do this. 
parang even though ayaw namin, alam namin yung pagkaayaw namin is bigger than everything that's going on. So, syempre, siguro I found out like maybe a week or a few days before she announced. So, I can't really tell people, di ba? Yes. So, I remember October, every week I had midterms. So, I was in the library most of the time. Syempre, I'm studying with my friends. And then, si Alibaba, minsan, kahit hindi ka trigger bigla ka nalang umiiyak. So, I remember I was walking with my friend. She's, he's not Pinoy, he's Vietnamese. Yes. And then, para I started crying outside the library. And then, parang, so parang, are you okay? So, ako pa yung bigla ko nalang sinabi, oh, my mom's running for president. And then, yung mukha niya parang, what? Confused. Confused president of what? Parang, president of what, diba? Yes. So, ako parang, of the country. <laughs> and then, sabi niya, wait, what? what? What's she doing now? And then, and then ako parang, oh, because she's currently the vice president. And then, new friend ko. Ang tagal ko ng friend, new friend ko yeah. eh. But, gets why we don't really talk about those things. Because that was what I wondered. Like, yeah. even if, you went all the way abroad. You were still the 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 daughter of the vice president of the Philippines. Yes, pero para hindi siya personality trait. Alam mo yun, if that makes sense. Um, I love that. Siguro para de ba para sometimes you talk about your family, but ako parang the way I talk about my family para oh my sister sent this. Alam mo parang ganon. And then para oh because my mom's doing this. Para not really like the specific job descriptor. And I was also like that growing up. De ba? Because I went to a high school, I went to an international school, mm, yeah. and they didn't really understand showbiz, <laughs> so I wouldn't really talk about it. And then I went to Ateneo, where everyone just lived normal life, no. <laughs> normal life. So I also wouldn't talk about it. But I think it helped me. Yeah. It it allowed me to live kind of like forge a path of my own. Yeah. And I made friends that taught me so much and. I feel like it grounded me also being around college students yeah. who didn't really care about all that stuff. Yeah. So that was kind of like you because yeah. nobody really knows. Yeah. But it's nice not being attached to like a label. Because mm-hmm. right? you feel free. Yeah. Although even being attached to that label, I don't find anything wrong with it, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, if anything, it's something to be proud of. But you kind of just want your own. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I get that. It's so nice to see that you were able to do that for yourself also. You're now an undergraduate research intern at NYU. And you are maintaining an active role in your mom's campaign. And you're in the process of growing up. So how are you taking care of yourself? Um, well, okay. To be honest, like mental health-wise, it's really difficult, especially with everything that's going on. Siguro... Parang before, alam mo yung before, hindi masyadong pinag-uusapan yung mental health. Um, and I think, naging mas important lang siya for me, especially when when my mom started, like, being the vice president. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang daming, alam mo parang ang daming stuff being thrown at you. And I think growing up, alam mo parang, when you do something and people applaud you for it, parang dun ka kumukuha ng recognition and ng confidence. But when a lot of people say bad things about you, na hindi ka, it's discouraging. Diba, pa, it's discouraging. And naka, alam mo, parang you have to change a belief system. Na parang okay, doesn't mean na masama yung sinasabi nila, masama yung ginagawa mo. So I think dun talaga yung parang medyo medyo kailangan mo switch, switch gears yung way of thinking. And yeah, it's been it's been difficult, uh, especially now. But siguro over the years. Alam mo parang mas naging accepting na lang and feeling ayaw parang you know what how I explain that experience I think you come to understand what it really means yeah. that it's not essentially um, all the noise yeah. all the noise sometimes it's not so personal because they don't even know you enough yeah. for it to be personal yeah you understand yeah so you kind of have to reframe the way that you see these comments these mm-hmm. things that they say these hurtful things that they say because for me I don't have plenty experience receiving hate personally, but I see it happen to my family. Yeah. And I think it's easy for people to say, oh, you shouldn't care. But I do care. Yeah. It hurts my feelings. I think it hurts more pag family member yeah, than Yeah, because you, you feel like you know them and you feel yeah. protective over them. But what I did growing up, I guess, is the same as you said. Like, you had to understand it. Yeah. To, it took a while. It takes a while takes to a understand while. it because it's not. Sometimes there's no logic to the things people say. Yeah. And it's so hurtful. You can't make sense of it. Yeah. So you kind of have to understand. 
you have to come to an understanding where you can put it aside yeah. and focus on what's more important. Yeah. What is it usually, if I can ask, that affects you the most? Honestly, recently, wala masyado. Parang before, siguro yung pinaka na-hurt ako pag binibring in yung dad namin. Mm-hmm. I think yun yun, b- before. But now, parang, alam mo, everything's just noise. How about how your friendships have changed? You know, because everyone has different political views. Yeah. And, you know, maybe not all of them are supporters. Mm-hmm. Or So how has that changed your friendships or even people that you know? No. Or... Your relationship with people that you know. I think maswerte ako na lahat ng friends ko at least supportive yes. on that aspect. Kasi okay, and dami mong nakikita online. I don't know if your friends are the same, but parang oh, don't let politics ruin friendships. Mm-hmm. But I think kasi ngayon it's not even like a question of politics, de ba? Parang if you enable someone doing wrong things. Would you still be friends with them? Alam mo parang medyo kani question mo na yung morals of the other person. Parang with my friends naman, buti na lang lahat kami. Alam mo medyo in sync when it comes to that. And you were um were you very deliberate with the people that you surrounded yourself with? Relatively, I feel like I'm an extroverted person. Yes. De ba? So parang so may may feel close guarded. friends ako. You didn't feel guarded. You didn't feel like you needed to protect yourself from other people's opinions or making new friends that might possibly not agree with you mm. or maybe even friends that are friends with you yeah. because your mom is the vice president. I think that's always, that's a good question. I yeah. think that's always a worry. Like usually in conversations, ayoko. I mean, parang if it's like a new friend and parang medyo out of context yung mom ko and it's always brought up, parang ako parang why? Mm-hmm. Di ba? Parang may, I have other things going on. Di ba? Pa- I mean, gets naman na sometimes they ask me about that. Of course, it's a curiosity. But I think my closest friends, even sila na awkward sila to bring it up. Mm-hmm. So I remember I, w- I saw friends maybe a few days back na... Parang sila, alam mo parang walang walang nagbemention ng anything. And then may isa ko friend, to yeah, up. may may isa ko friend na parang sabi niya, sorry ayoko talaga tanungin to, but my mom's asking like if I can have like tarps. Mm. <laughs> Tapos ako parang ayaw, ah, yeah, okay lang naman. Mm. And then alam mo parang may two other friends sabi niya, oh my god, thank god may nagsabi na, kasi ayoko yun bring up. So I think sila parang very. You can also tell. Yeah. Who's genuine, right? Yeah. You can kind of. Tell already. Yeah. So, so you feel confident in that? Your yeah, instinct? Yeah. I feel very confident. What do you hope to do next? Graduate. Graduate? <laughs> well, me too. Graduate. I think, you know, after all this, well, kahit ano man mangyari with me, kami ng sisters ko back to our specific caves. Um, right. doing, doing what we're doing. You're, um, you're living, your, living in your place in the world. Yeah. Um... Kasi usually naman pag campaign season lang kami sumasali. Mm-hmm. So anything related to my mom's office, wala kaming involved Is there anything that makes you nervous or afraid of the future? Right mm-hmm. now? Interesting. I think the next three months lang. You, yeah. you never know what's gonna happen and how things are going to change. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, depending man on the outcome. Yeah, I think kami parang thinking about things after me. Hindi, alam mo pa, ayoko siya masyadong isipin. Feeling ko kasi nagkaka-anxiety ako with it. Just because, parang before, feeling ko medyo type A kami as a family. So before, parang gusto mo like lagging things under your control. But with the last year, parang, alam mo, parang medyo okay, sige. Wala akong control nito. It's just that, wala. But how do you, okay, so more specifically, how do you, Go through it. How do you help yourself? Oh, I, I I'm gonna admit it. I'm, I seek like professional help okay. when it comes to that. It's, it's not something that may no. to say. Um, but na lang, I have the means to also, and that's something that I, it's a it's really a privilege. And I'm thankful that I can, I can, I can have it. I think also good to 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 speak to other people, not even just professional help, but about like to my sisters, to my mom, or even my friends. Na feeling ko kailangan parang before ako para ah, hindi hindi ako magsasalita kasi hindi nila maintindihan yung what's going on in my head, especially with all the anxiety that comes with the elections. It's not even just personal life, but more of like the future, and ba? Parang okay. No, because you're also 
it's not it's not just the things that are happening to you you're also 21 year old going yeah. through life <laughs> yeah so i think just a mix of all of that na sigur i what i learned during also in therapy is it's okay na kahit you talk to people who don't fully understand, but just there to listen. When you talk to people, sometimes it's for advice, but sometimes it's just to listen, let it out. You need, yeah. yeah. But also the people that you open up to has an effect. Yeah. Would you say? But yeah. you're so fortunate because you can talk about it with your parents. Yeah. And that's kind of what we want to do with Mind Games, right? That's why I even wanted to do this podcast because not everyone has not that. Not everyone. Or not everyone has a relative that they can talk to about it or um, a friend yeah. or no one. There are some people out there who don't even know how they feel or they yeah. don't even understand. Yeah. So it's nice to to hear that, you know, we're all really the same. Yeah. On a certain Everyone level. Everyone goes through it. Yeah, because for you who, you know, I would say you're so accomplished for your age, you're 21 and you're a good student. You were from, what was your high school? Philippine science. Philippine science. And then <laughs> mathematics and economics <laughs> in NYU. And then you're an undergrad research intern, you know. And then you still have to deal with that part of your well-being. Yeah. And that's kind of the message we want to send to everyone. Right? Yeah. Regardless of mental illness or not, you have, to, you have a mental well-being yeah. that you need to take care of. What is your advice to young women out there? Well, I think karamihan ng mga tao now very concerned about what's gonna go in the future. Like, uh, diba, parang what's gonna happen in the future. The uncertainty of the future. Parang, especially with the pandemic. Diba, parang everything was so uncertain. And now, slowly, hopefully, walang bagong variant, going back to normal. But yun nga, you, you still have elections. And that's what, six years, the next six years of our life. So there's really a lot at stake. Um... While ako before, alam mo parang very big, bigger picture person ako na parang, okay, um, some things are more important than others. But I realize ko, if, if you can't even take care of the smaller things, it will also affect the big things. So yun, siguro taking care lang of yourself in the, resting especially, taking care of yourself in the smallest ways possible. Like mm-hmm. even if it's just, it's just watching a Netflix show. No, it's show. true. It's diba? true. Parang, I agree with that. The ways that you take care of yourself don't have to be impossible yeah. or daunting. You don't have to go to... I mean, not everyone has the resources, yeah. right? So it doesn't have to be daunting. It could be, like you said, it could be small things yeah. that you do for yourself every day. Every day. Or um, the like. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, burnout is very real, especially during the pandemic. Where you're expected to be online most of the, the time. Pandemic. Yeah, a student, uh, being a student in the pandemic yung burnout kasi lagi mong pinupush yung sarili mo to be productive but if you're pushing yourself to be productive today tomorrow ubus ka na so get I think yung resting then it took me a while to accept parang before parang ah sige magpahinga ka ay parang hindi ko siya tinitake into heart okay. but na ako parang okay pagod na ako kapahinga ako okay so but it also took a while it's, so yeah. yours is to learn to rest yeah to learn to rest to learn to rest and to also value the small things yeah and the little incremental things that you can do for yourself every day. It amounts to something yeah. in the end. So yeah, we're done. We're done. Thank you so Thank much. You. I was really nervous to do this podcast, <laughs> but you know, Jill and I, this is only the second time we're meeting, but we've come we've become so comfortable with each other because of our experiences. Yeah. And I'm very honored and happy to have her here. I hope you guys enjoy their conversation. Thanks for having me. And thanks for being here. Thank you so much. This is it for today's episode. If you want to see more, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Mind Games by Claudia. And you can also follow us on YouTube, Mind Games by Claudia as well, for videos. And Spotify, where our podcasts will now be officially posted as well. So thank you, and I'll see you again. Bye.